everybody, this is Sean B. Bradley, CEO of Dealer Synergy, and guess what? You know what time it is. It is Make Money Mondays. People, what time is it? It is Make Money Mondays, and I'm super excited because I got a hot topic to share with you today. Orphan owners. Do you want to adopt some people? Adopt some orphan owners. Now, I'm dead serious about this. This is Make Money Mondays. And I want to focus on an idea that's an oldie but a goodie for you to follow up on is your orphan owners. Do you even know what an orphan owner is? Okay, well, what is an orphan owner? An orphan owner is a prospect, or actually I should say a customer of the dealership that their salesperson is no longer at the dealership. I'm going to repeat that. An orphan owner is basically it is a customer of the dealership that their salesperson no longer is at the dealership. Either A, the, the salesperson retired, they hit the lottery, went away, or they were terminated, or for whatever reason, they're no longer in the organization. So these people kind of float around in the, in the purgatory of, of follow-up, unfortunately. So if you're a new sales consultant, or if you are a zealous sales consultant that wants to have more than just you know, the opportunities that are in front of you, you wanna find additional extra options, go to your, your sales manager, your general sales manager, or your GM or your dealer, whomever is in charge and say, knock, knock, who's there? Opportunity, because opportunity is knocking at your door. You wanna ask for some orphan owners. Now, Sean, why do I wanna deal with some orphan owners? They're just a waste of time. That's not true. Let me just give you a couple little details, okay? Fact one. The highest closing ratio, the highest closing ratio is from a repeat customer. A repeat customer has the highest closing ratio, 65% closing ratio, and it has the highest gross profit. It's the path of least resistance. So why would you want to wait for the up bus to come by for an 18 to 20% shot to possibly grow some money? Uh, not as much as you possibly can. Or you have an opportunity to deal with people, to engage people that have actually purchased vehicles from your dealership before that probably use your service department. And what else? A service customer is seven times as likely to purchase a vehicle from where they're servicing their vehicle from. So again, an orphan owner is a great opportunity because they're just lingering again into the purgatory of the reality. So look at some orphan owners. Now, how would you go about following up with the orphan owners? Well, again, uh, just some of the basic stuff that you could do. With technology, I would try to get a uh, CRM export. So if you are able to, let's just say, you know, Mr. Smith is, you know, or John Smith was a salesperson, he's no longer with your dealership, I would ask my manager to please transfer all of John Smith's files, whether they're current prospects, but in this scenario, they're customers of his transfer straight from the CRM, change the, the, the custody of that customer from, you know, uh, Mr. Smith, the salesperson is no longer there, to your personal uh, file, your personal CRM profile. If you can't do that, if the CRM, for whatever crazy reason, does not let you switch a button from the ex-employee to you, then just do what's called a CSV file or an Excel file and basically, you know, export all of his contacts and import them into your database into your CRM. Worse comes from worse, get a printout of all of his leads and manually enter them into your CRM tool or your, to, your, to your database. Once you've got them there, I would create a, a letter. I would do a hard letter. I would do an email template. And basically what you're going to say is you're going to introduce yourself and uh, just let the, the customer know that um, who you are and that you are basically um, you know, taking over for John Smith because John Smith is no longer in the organization and that you wanted to give them your, your name, your phone number, your contact information, your email address and what you want them to basically do is if that person needs anything whatsoever automotive related that they could contact you. So again, for this week for Make Money Mondays, I want to focus on something that, that most people don't really gravitate towards and that's the orphan owners. Orphan owners are such an untapped resource because people think, ah, they're orphan owners, nobody cares. Here's the thing, repeat customers, 65% closing ratio. Another thing is that if somebody purchased a vehicle, don't worry about it being that oh, they just bought a vehicle three months ago, six months ago, a year ago, because NADA says that if somebody purchases a vehicle from you, someone else in their household is gonna purchase another vehicle within 90 days. So I've gotta tell you this right now, what you wanna do is make absolute sure that you have the ability to turn around and take full advantage of the orphan owners. 
So again, this is Sean V. Bradley, CEO of Dealer Synergy, Make Money Mondays, Working Owners. I'm out.